It's time for story with Oma Mary. And it's been raining here in Minnesota today, so I didn't feel like reading a story until now. I'm gonna read you a story called A Penny for Wiffles. It's a story about a horse. When I was a little girl, I had a horse. She wasn't very fast. She was pretty wide. She was kind of slow, but we had fun riding. We each had a horse. So I'm gonna read you about Penny. A Penny for Wiffles. Once there was a small fuzzy brown pony who had a fine big meadow. He had lots of soft green grass and a cold splashy stream in his meadow. He had all of these fine things. He really did. And his name was Wiffles. Again, this book is old. It's probably as old as me. One sunny morning, <clears throat> nice old farmer Hayrick came out of the meadow. He began to brush Wiffles. He brushed him until he tickled, until he tingled, until he felt warm and good. He brushed him until he wasn't fuzzy anymore. He brushed him until he was sleek and shiny as could be. There now, Wiffles said, Farmer Hayrick. Now you're as shiny as a new penny, and he put his brush into his pocket and went away whistling. Farmers take good care of their animals. I wonder what a new penny looks like, said Wiffles. Oh, Dapple Dobbs heard him. A penny, he said, is very shiny. And sometimes it can make a tinkling, ringing noise. I know, I saw one once. Penny must be a fine thing, decided Wiffles. I will look for one. He looked over the fence, but he didn't see a penny. He went down the lane and into the barnyard, but he didn't see a penny there either. He looked into the dairy, and there he did see something. It was very shiny. He walked around it, looking. He touched it with his hoof and it made a ringing sound. Why, said Wiffles, this must be a penny. He touched it again and the thing tipped over with a clatter bang. Farmer Hera came running. Ski daddle there, Wiffles, he said. You just have tipped over a bale of good fresh milk. Ski daddle. Wiffle skedaddled out of the dairy, into the barnyard he went. There was no penny, he said. No penny. That farmer had rolls. Well, I just guess it wasn't, said Mr. Buttons the goat. There was a shiny new pail. No, a penny is round, like the full moon. It is that same beautiful, sort of orange color. Oh, said Ripples, a penny must be the most beautiful thing in the whole world, and I would like to have one. He hunted some more. He looked in the duck pond. Something was shining there. Was it a penny? Wiffles thought it might be, until he looked up and saw that it was only the sun making the water sparkle. He looked in the tractor shed, in the apple orchard, in the hayfield, and then in the cornfield. He saw a thing lying on the ground. It was round. It was shiny. It was orange. What do you think it was?
A penny, thought Wiffles, touching the thing with his nose. But just then, Farmer Hamrick came hurrying. Skedaddle there! Swiffles, skedaddle, he called. Don't you touch that big round ready to pick pumpkin. Poor Wiffles. Wiffles skedaddled back to the barnyard. He thought about pennies. Beautiful, shiny, round, sort of orange pennies. And he felt sad because he thought he would never have one. Suddenly, Wiffles heard a noise. He looked up. A shiny car was coming into the barnyard. A little girl leaned out the window of the car. Look, Daddy, she cried when she saw Wiffles. Oh, such a pretty pony. The car stopped. The little girl hopped out and ran toward Wiffles. Suddenly, her father called. Wait, honey, you have dropped your purse and spilled those pennies of yours. Oh, there's a clue. Did you hear the clue? Pennies? Wiffle's ears perked up. He trotted over to the little girl and looked down. There, lying in the grass, were three shiny, round, sort of orange things. So these were pennies, but Wiffle's head dropped, his ears dropped. Suddenly he turned away. Pennies are nice, he said to himself, but they aren't as nice or as pretty as I thought they would be. They are not the most beautiful things in the whole world. Suddenly Wiffles heard the little girl's father say something. Penny, he said, you must be more careful or you will lose those pennies. The little girl laughed. I'll be careful, Daddy, she promised. Wiffles blinked. Was the little girl a penny too? There was what her father had called her. Wiffles looked carefully at this penny. Her hair, her hair was the color of a big sort of orange moon. Her eyes were as shiny as the sky on a sunny summer day. And best of all, when she laughed, it was the tinkliest, most ringing kind of laugh Wiffles had ever heard. Now that thought Wiffles is exactly the kind of penny I would like for my very own. He went up to the little girl and rubbed against her arm. Aww. Mm -hmm. The little girl put her arms around Wiffles and hugged him. Oh, daddy, she said, this is exactly the kind of pony I would like for my very own. Well, can you guess what happened? Wiffles still has a fine big meadow. He still has lots of good green grass and a cool splashy stream. But besides all those things, Wiffles has something else, something very special. He has his own penny, penny all of his own. And that's the penny for Wiffles. I hope you enjoyed that story. Have a great day.